actually we do two videos tonight. One will be um, connecting the Dell Vostro to my 23-inch uh, Samsung monitor, which has a built-in TV tuner with HDMI. So I'm going to show you how you can push audio and video through this cable. And then I'm going to go downstairs uh, where we have the large TV, which I never use, but show you that as well. So let me go ahead and turn on the laptop. And one of the things I read, I had a little, just a little hiccup with getting this going, is um, they recommend that you have both the um, display and the uh, computer off, right? And then you should turn on the display and then you should turn on the computer. So wherever I tried some different stuff, it went fine. I do have a glitch with the audio. But anyway, so I've turned on the laptop. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my monitor. And this monitor accepts VGA. Are you done there making your little sounds? Good. Um, VGA, DVI, um, HDMI, and then it also uh, will accept a uh, coax cable because it has a built-in TV tuner. And it has a remote control, but I've never used it because I'm not a big TV watcher. But I do love watching, uh, you know, stuff on Netflix and Hulu once in a while. Like, I like House. Anyway, um, so here what I've done is uh, via the HDMI cable, which kind of looks like a little letter D. In fact, I'll show you guys. Let me go ahead and pull this out. <clears throat> so your HDMI port looks like this. Oops, I'm trying to hold it up here. So you can kind of see your HDMI port, the last one there. So it kind of looks like, I like to say it looks like a letter D. There we go. So this is your HDMI port right here. Okay. All right, anyway, so I have connected it, right? Boom. And this basically is plug and play, so it doesn't have to be connected. Anyway, but you see now it comes up, and uh, I can I can go ahead and I can see the screen. Um, and actually, you know, it's displaying the same thing on both, right? Uh, you can toggle that uh, by holding down the function key, and then the display is, it looks like it's F8. So if I hold down both of those, then it'll offer me the option I can extend the screen, have it only be on the projector, for example, I or, you know, I can disconnect the projector. Uh, so when you get ready to do a presentation, you want to make sure you have this down. But what I'm going to do is have it on both. So I'm going to, it's called duplicate, and that's pretty much standard, like in Windows. Uh, all right, so, and this is running Windows 7 Professional, so, okay, great. So I have that set up. Okay, that's awesome. I can go ahead and hit play. And I can maximize. It's Monday, February 7th. Touchdown. That's great and all. But the thing you'll notice is that the audio is still coming out of the laptop. You know, so if I want the audio to come off here, because yes, this has built-in speakers, then um, I had to go into my Windows uh, settings and just make a change. Um, and that's what I was tweeting about, because I'm like, hmm, I don't know if this is working the way it needs to work. But it did. So I will go to my start menu and I will go over to control panel. Boom. And I don't know if I can make this easier to see. I think the resolution is just going to be a little bit hard to see. But anyway, I'll just talk about it. So start control panel. And then since I'm on Windows 7, <clears throat> I'm going into hardware and sound. And then uh, there's the option that says sound. And underneath that, it says manage audio devices. So on this system right now, uh, the speaker and headphones are selected as the default. I'm going to change that um, to the one that says uh, Sync Master Intel Display Audio. Now that also, you know, based on your video card, could say HDMI. I mean, there's a lot of different options, but mine says Intel Display Audio. In fact, I found a um, post around Dell's site to mentioning that it could have a couple different names. Anyway, so I select that, and then I say Set Default. Boom. And now, when I play it, it's going to come out of here. You'll hear a difference. And also, I have the ability to control it now if I had the remote control set up. Or I can uh, go ahead and control it on here. So, ready? Let's go ahead. Welcome to the morning after. I'm Brian. And I'm not Ginger. I'm not Ginger. I'm Allison, but don't worry. Ginger will be back tomorrow. Okay. Natalie Portman is so hot in Black Swan. Yeah, she's so hot, I could make a Mila out of her kunis. Dana Carvey returned to the SNL stage this weekend for his fourth time as host, and while it was great to just see the sketch comedian, let alone for him to reprise some of his most memorable characters, who is that special? The nostalgia was, well, bittersweet. Yeah, it's great that SNL can be self-aware. I mean, we had Bill Hartman, we had Mike Myers, Jan Hooks. It was incredible. You, you got it. I mean, 86 to 93 was the best. Okay, anyway. Um, so you can see then 
that if you had a presentation up, in this case I pulled up Hulu, but I could easily pull up, um, you know, a presentation and if I had audio and video in it, um, it would be really easy to do. So in fact, let me just go down here and go to all programs. And I installed uh, Microsoft Office 2010 on here uh, last week when I got the laptop. So I'll go down here to Microsoft Office and then I will bring up PowerPoint. Ooh, so exciting, PowerPoint. And uh, let's look at one of these recent presentations that I did. Um, this one wasn't too exciting. Let's see about this one. No, neither of those are very exciting. This one's kind of, yeah, okay, let's pull this one up because this one has some animation in it. All right, so there we go. I'm sorry, I have three monitors, so that's that's why there's other one is right here. I kind of scoot it out of the way. Um, and then let me tilt this okay, so you can... There, we get some contrast going, and then you can see. Presentations are a powerful communication For more than 20 years, Duarte has developed presentations to launch products, align employees, increase company value, and propel global causes. Global causes. Okay, let's go ahead and exit out of that. Anyway, so that is um, a demo of the HDMI um, on one of my monitors. Um, I have one monitor that I pretty much use for the MacBook, and then I have two monitors I use for my Dell um, desktop. But, you know, this could easily just be, kind of be my mobile uh, laptop, uh, I don't know, monitor. Is. So no matter which one I'm using, it's flexible. So that's that. I'll go ahead and get this uploaded, and then I'll go downstairs. Um, I hear my roommates down there, so hopefully they won't mind if I'm down there plugging in HDMI stuff. But I want to show you guys because um, most laptops don't have HDMI, so you don't have the ability to push audio and video. Then you have to have a bunch of messy cables. It's just not really that much fun. So this is a really great feature about um, this Dell laptop. Plus, it's super light. Remember, you saw my videos. It's like, boom. Super light, and you can win this, so don't forget this. You have till Sunday to go ahead and submit your video, um, and then we'll be judging it next week. So I'll see you in a bit.